Welcome back, guys. Have we got a very cool, very awesome, very unique, and very wow knife to talk about today? This was loaned in from my good buddy, Fifty Shades of Slash, over on Instagram, JP, who is the first and original owner of this incredible knife. This knife was put together by Kurt Merican from Merican Knives. And I actually met him at the California Custom Knife Show back in 2020? 19? 2019, before the pandemic. Um, he won't remember me. He was making a knife for my buddy Alex over at the Knife Box channel. And we happened to run into him, and I was introduced to him for two seconds. And he probably met <clears throat> a thousand people that day, so he has no idea who I am, because I'm just some knucklehead on YouTube. But anyway, he was a cool guy, and he made a great knife for my buddy Alex. He also made this amazing, humongous, full-dress Leviathan. <laughs> I'm actually kind of at a loss for words on this one. To give you an idea of the size, let's just dive right into a little bit of size comparison, just the size acknowledgement. Okay, this is a an Olite double uh, A flashlight, single double A flashlight, and I have a double A battery right here. Okay, so obviously the flashlight's a little bit bigger. Okay, that gives you an idea of the scale before I even talk about dimensions of this knife. You know, I have big knives. I thought I had big knives until I really understood from JP what a big knife was. But here is the Phil Harvey Peacemaker. That does weigh heavy weight does come in as the heavyweight champion of these two, but is not as physically large as the Leviathan. One last little size just to note before we really get started is here it is with the Sharpie. All right, so let's talk about the sh the, the dimensions. Seven and seven eighths closed. That's bigger than a lot of knives are open. Here it is next to the Hellraiser. The Hellraiser is just slightly larger, fully open. <laughs> the Delica is smaller. I, I, I'm just at, at kind of a loss for words on this one. Overall, it does flip if I can get my two-handed grip on it. It barely fits in the frame. Overall, we're looking at 14 and an eighth. Just a hair under 14 and one eighth inches. The blade is 6.06. With a cutting edge of 5.91. The blade steel is from Vegas Forge. It is a ladder, pa ladder pattern Sanmai Damascus. It's beautiful. It's stunning. And we will zoom in in just a moment. The blade thickness is 0 0.207. The overall thickness is 0 0.715. Less than three quarters of an inch, but getting up there okay it's deceiving it doesn't even look that thick runs on bearings weighs in at one pound 8.9 ounces yeah it's a bit of a handful has a thumb stud double thumb studs And it is a full dress model because the scales 
are what's called Hyperdrive Zircutai from Alpha Knife Supply. Same with the thumb studs and the clip. Let's zoom in and take a look at, I'm just going to open it like a, with two hands. It's a beautiful Damascus pattern. I love a Damascus and I love Zirkutai, which is really black Damascus. I, I, I did some research and it really gave me a headache trying to determine the difference between Damascus, black Damascus, Mokutai, all of these different things that people call them. Basically, it's multi different layers of titanium in a way that is, you know, it, it's, it's basically Damascus steel, but which is different l types of steel layered together and forged. Timascus, Zirkutai, Mokutai, all that is the same thing, but with titanium different grades and levels of titanium. That's what takes the heat different is the different layers of the different type of titanium. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. It's bonkers. It's, 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 it's just, yes, literally, this could be a two-handed knife. Okay, like two hands fit on this nicely. I'm like, I'm really going to choke up and I'm going to go to bat and I'm going to just chop something. I, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's as ridiculous as the Peacemaker. Equally ridiculous. I equally want to not send this back to JP. It fits in my pocket. In the jeans that I was wearing today, the Leviathan fit in the pocket. Okay, I'm carefully closing the Peacemaker over here and putting it off to the side. I don't know what more to say. Like, what, what, what can you say about something that is just this amazing? Now, I did post this on my Instagram today, which I thought was really cool. Um, I posted a couple of pictures and I did a slow-mo video of me flipping it open and all of that. And out of the blue, Kurt Merrickin reached out to me and said, very cool. I think he reposted it uh, as Fifty Shades reposted it. Um, and then I had a little back and forth with, with Kurt over it. Like, that's cool to me. I'm, I'm kind of a, like a nobody here with, you know, 3,600 YouTube followers and maybe 15, 1,400 uh, Instagram followers. But I'm always, I'm really touched when makers reach out to me without solicitation, just to say thanks for posting my stuff. I had another, a, like a lengthy message from uh, Erica's Bloomerus today. I had done a couple of videos on his South African knives. And he reached out today um, and said, hey, thanks for doing it. He actually reposted my entire YouTube video on his IGTV. So we'll do a couple size comparisons here. This is the Sharpie. We've done a couple of these already. But I, I need to try to convey the just overall size of this knife. So yeah, Erica reached out and just, you know, was very grateful and very humble that I took the time to talk about his knife for like an 11 minute video or something. This is the Hellraiser P-Series. How about another one that I love? The, the budget knife, my favorite budget knife, the Kubi KB237. So in closing here, uh, let's do one more here because it's another custom, you know, another full custom here. The Shark Nivco Ryu. Again, beautiful knife. And I haven't done the video on this yet. This, I own this one and I'm super 
honored to have been able to buy those. Um, again, super, super cool custom. Different levels, different worlds. But this, man, God, I just... It's a thing of beauty. Is it practical? No. Are you going to carry it in your pocket? No. But you could because it does fit. But this is not something you're going to pull out at the lunchroom table to cut your apple with. You'd have security there in a hot minute. I just, I just wanted to share a thing of beauty with you guys to just show the attention to detail, the craftsmanship you can get from a maker. Now, Kurt makes normal-sized knives, makes a ton of them, more than his overbuilt crazy stuff. The one that he did for uh, Alex at the Knife Box channel is freaking amazing. Has a hamon line on the blade and everything. It's just beautiful. Westinghouse micarta, like just, it's a beautiful knife, and it's one of Alex's favorites. I may have to look into getting one myself because the fit and finish is just so amazing. He does a great job. So if you're not familiar with him, I'm going to put a link to his Instagram down below because it's worth following him and just checking out the type of stuff he can do. And he can make some crazy stuff if you are so inclined. That's what's great about doing custom makers is they can make cool, cool stuff. So... Again, JP, man, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to handle all of these knives. And I've got one more to do. One more prototype. Maybe the most crazy custom that I have ever shown on my channel to date. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. And like this one and like the, the Homosaurus, I, I don't know if my, my camera gear just doesn't do it justice. I'm not sure I do these knives justice, but I was honored that JP lent them to me so that I could experience them for myself and try my best to share them with you guys. So thanks for watching everybody. I do greatly appreciate your time and uh, please go check out American Knives down below and go check out 50 Shades of Slash down below. I would love to have you guys follow their Instagrams. Uh, it, would mean a, it would mean the world to me. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.